Celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting, five times a week, Monday through Friday. Here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. And here are some of today's trends in the news. On the market front, over there in Asia, everybody's down. And Shanghai's down a little bit more than everybody else. Over there in Europe, everybody's up, but not a lot. Here, Dow's up over 100 points. Boom, zam, bop, breaks a new high. That's right, because optimism that that tax bill is going to get passed. And you know what that means? Yeah, it means those corporations could bring back a lot of that dough that they got overseas. And also, giving more tax breaks that'll generate more profits. And they'll do with those profits what they've been doing with the profits all along reinvesting in the markets. That's right, not capital improvements. Bring in the stocks higher so they make more dough. So that's good for the stock markets. And NASDAQ down a little bit. Oil, boop, that down a bit. Was up there because of that oil pipeline break up there in the North Sea. But they got their money out of that. They drove the market up. It's near its highs. And we believe that oil prices could go higher. And you know why? Because today you got your top trends for 2018. That's right. Cryptomania cash-in, driverless car cliff, the electric car fantasy, market shock, mass murder, Blockchain democracy, interactive view, the India model, follow the yellow silk road, the come together brand. Oh yeah, wait till you read about that. The new millennial political party. It's going to change a lot of things around. And if you want to invest and go to the places where growth is going to be, find one of those organic growth cities in a country around the world and in a city near you. And although we keep hearing about all of the shop online, get ready for the brick and mortar bounce. These are your top trends for 2018. Stock market plunge, mass moida. And the moida is coming out of the Middle East. That's where we see the disruption going. And when that happens, man, gold prices go up and those cryptocurrencies rise. Oh, and talking about those cryptocurrencies rising, how about that Bitcoin? Boop, bop. Yep. From yesterday, it's up over 600 bucks when we reported yesterday at this time. And gold. Keeps going a little lower, up a little bit today. But the Fed's meeting tomorrow. That's right. With the stock markets going up, with the uh, dollar going to get stronger as those rates go up, gold goes down. But go back to your trends for 2018. We still say that gold is a great safe haven commodity. However, in the short period, of dollar going up and interest rates going up, gold has to us at least a hundred dollar downside risk. Has to go over strongly fourteen hundred dollars an ounce before it takes that Bitcoin route. And in other news, electric cars disrupt metal market. Investors dive into commodity companies likely to benefit from the trend. You know what that is? Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. Well, more than a bullshit alert, it's your top trends again for 2018. History before it happens. Look at your trends. Driverless car cliff. The electric car fantasy. That's right. It's all in this Trends Monthly. The top trends for 2018. 
that are going to shape and shake the world. Moving on, global demand lifts China's exports. That's right, exports are up 12.3% from a year earlier. So now we're looking at China where people say there's a bubble over there. That's right. They're going to keep that bubble pumped up. Because China doubles logistics deals to $32.2 billion. As I've noted, that's right. The upsurge follows a $20.1 billion of port acquisitions in plans to enhance trade flows. Now, remember that $32 billion is twice of what it was last year, and we're only 11 months into it. So what does that mean? Another one of your top trends for 2018 that you'll only read in your Trends Monthly. Follow the yellow silk road. The facts are there, and so are the trends. Moving on, e-commerce spurs logistic hiring. Isn't that a nice word? Let me tell you what logistic hiring means. to the prestitutes. The warehousing and storage sector, which includes fulfillment centers, where workers pick and pack and ship e-commerce orders, added 8,100 jobs in November. Isn't that great, huh? Packaging, handling, and shipping, we're going to call them logistics hiring. Don't forget to send your kids to school. That's right. Go $40,000 in debt so they could get that degree in packaging, shipping, and handling. Going back to the tax breaks, that's where the deal's going, man. Only to the bigs. And they're bragging here that on Cyber Monday this year, shoppers spent $6.5 billion, nearly a billion dollars more than last year. And what did they spend in China on Singles Day? Yeah, yeah, about $24 billion in one day. Not even close. You know why? Follow the yellow Silk Road, one of your top trends for... 2018. Emerging markets ready for Fed move. Want to bet? The emerging markets are up this year 28%, more than the 19% gained by the S&P 500. Here's the deal, man. Just like gold's going down, when the dollar gets too strong, if it does and interest rates keep rising, if they say they will, and we'll find out more tomorrow, all of this debt all of the cheap money that they got, they got to pay back in dollars. And as the dollar gets stronger and their currency gets weaker, these markets go south because there's another trend that's going to affect it. Market shock, mass murder. That's right. It's one of your top trends. We said it before. We're saying it again. And as I mentioned, Bitcoins are up 600 bucks from yesterday. Bitcoin soars as futures start. Bullish Bitcoin traders overpowered bearish ones on Monday as the much heralded launch of Bitcoin futures further fueled exuberance for the nine-year-old digital currency. It's bigger than Bitcoin. It's one of your top trends for 2018, crypto mania cash in. And again, we're not the first on this. And in the beginning, I was a little iffy, but we've been way ahead of the crowd because here's what the crowd is saying. 80% of Wall Street economists and strategists believe Bitcoin is a bubble. CNBC. Hey, this is what we've been saying about Bitcoin. 
Trendsresearch.com, the Trends Research Journal. Folks, he showed you his old publications. They predicted Bitcoin would boom this summer. They doubled down in the fall, and they were correct on both of those seasonal predictions. Gerald Salenti, Trendsresearch.com. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And as we say, it's bigger than Bitcoin. It's your top trend, cryptocurrency cashing, because... Russia may turn to cryptocurrencies and oil trade to challenge sanctions and the petrodollar. And what have we reported on? Venezuela doing the same thing with their petro digital currency. This is the future. And the future is more than just the currencies. It's the whole blockchain technology. Ah! Blockchain technology. Trends Monthly, one of your top trends for 2018. Blockchain democracy. What does that mean? You know what it means. Read your Trends Monthly. Blockchains are freeing the people from the system. It's a whole new world order. It's the 21st century. Bitcoin trading overwhelms exchanges. Yep, that's when just one exchange opened on Monday. Wait till the Chicago Mercantile Exchange opens. You want to see overwhelmed. Again, trends are born, they grow, they mature, reach old age, and then they die. Cryptos are just a baby. But SEC chairman warns, on Rush to Cryptocurrencies. Hey, Mr. Chairman, Katsone, where were you worrying about all those uh, derivatives, huh? Oh, yeah, that was just screwing the people. You didn't care. Now people are making money and you don't like it, do you? No, I know what you like. You like those subprime auto loans. No, no, no. Salenti, bigger than that. I love those subprime mortgages. That's right. I love what Wells Fargo and all the other ones do to keep screwing the people. But we're warning you, don't get caught playing the crypto game because it's taking money out of the banksters that we love so much. Yep. Not even SEC probe can damp demand for initial coin offerings. That's right. As hard as they try, as much as they keep doing, it's a whole new crypto world and the war between freedom of choice and government dictatorship in a whole new field is expanding. They're going to try to stop it, will they? Read your Trends Monthly Cryptomania Cash-In. That's right. Even with the SEC and the other countries trying to stop ICOs, according to this report that just came out, more than 150 ICOs were nearing completion this weekend. But the big news is all the news. Lawmakers vow to revamp sex harassment system. That's right, this Christmas, don't kiss anybody under the mistletoe. Yeah. You know, with the lawmakers vow to revamp sex harassment system, they better stop jerking off in public. Yeah. Oh, at Columbia, look at this big story in the toilet paper. They've been going after this boy's sexual harassment stuff. Three women, 30 years, and a pattern of harassment. Three women, 30 years. Hey, where were they 30 years ago? Oh, no, Salenti, we got to keep going with this because you know what happened. GOP lawmaker to exit immediately over allegations. That was over the weekend. Representative Trent Franks. Two public radio hosts suspended. Mario Batali steps aside after accusations of habitual sexual harassment. Inquiry at Paris Review, as editor says, he'll resign. That's right. He was doing the wrong things there. 
But what we won't talk about are the wars going on, the murder being committed. Where are all you people? And especially the ones with the pink pussy hats that were out there when Trump got inaugurated and all the others that are protesting. How come nobody's talking about peace? Not a peep about it. U.S. to keep forces in Syria indefinitely. Isn't that nice? Yeah, putting forces in a sovereign country that you have no business being in. Hey, we're the exceptionals. And when something happens after the exceptionals invade a sovereign nation that's done nothing to them and support actions such as those by Israel that allow them to break any kind of UN resolutions and international law that they like because, hey, the United States is the exceptional and they is the chosen people. They could do what they want and we could do what we want. But what happens is, as you see in this front page picture of the Wall Street Journal, bomber jolts New York commute. There you got it. And here's the response from Democratic New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo, born on third base and thought he had a home run, a nobody if his old man wasn't Mario, just like his brother, an arrogant guy on CNN. I could say an arrogant little boy, because if I say arrogant little boy and he's white, well, they can't call me a racist. But if I say arrogant little boy like an Obama, then you could call me a racist. Can't call a spade a spade. Oh, yes, I can. Now that Obama's not in there anymore. So stop your crap. Little boys are little boys, and slime is slime in all races, creeds, and colors, and genders. Got to make it even, and greatness comes in all of them, too. So little Mario said he blamed the incident on the garbage and vileness you ready for this? Of the internet. Yeah, and it allowed this guy to make that vest. He learned how to do it on the internet. Hey, what did this guy say he did it for? He said he did it because of the way the Israelis are treating the Palestinians and Trump's latest move in making Jerusalem the capital of Israel and vowing to move the U.S. embassy there as the, as the Israelis steal more land. It's a real estate development. It has nothing to do with what God said. Their God. I think. How many people's different gods are there? Oh, no, it's the real God. Anyway, and then that other jerk, de Blasio, because look at that picture again. Look at the stormtroopers all over New York. He said, de Blasio, that New Yorkers should be reassured, quote, when you see those long guns of the NYPD. Yeah, maybe a guy with a little you-know-what likes a long gun. A jerk-off. If a guy puts a bomb around them or a woman and blows themselves up, they could walk right up to a guy with a long gun. What will stop this madness is one thing, and that's peace. Because if you go into other countries and slaughter innocent people, destroy their future and kill everybody that they love, hey, de Blasio, I'm from the Bronx. Maybe you heard this one. Payback's a bitch. Stop killing people. What are you doing in Syria? Oh, no. Hey, did you hear about who touched that woman's breast when, and, and when she went? That's all they talk about. You know why? They're prostitutes. They get paid to put out. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's Trends in the News and Trends of 2018 in your Trends Monthly that will direct you into the future to seize the opportunities and avoid the dangers in a time when we're going to see these trends shape 
and shake up the world.